Did you guys see that they released the first gameplay of Hogwarts Legacy running on the Switch? How rough do you think this is going to be? Do you think this is going to be really good? I haven't seen it yet. Do you think it's going to look good? Do you think it's going to look horrible? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. I'm ready. I'm buckled up. I hope it's, I hope it's really good. They did a great job with the PS4 port. What we got? I trust you're ready for your first All footage Hogwarts. captured on the Switch. Can't believe I'm here. That you have come this far tells me that you possess X. I mean, clearly it's super low res. Like, I don't even know what resolution this is. This is no doubt docked. And we're, we're streaming it at 1080p and man, I mean, this, this could easily be like 540p. It's very, very blurry, but it seems to be running pretty smooth and it's not like everything is like, nothing looks like a potato. So I guess that's cool. Magical ability. We can expect great things from you. Another beginning of a bright and magical future. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Jump! Give me your hand! Agil! You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? I, again, like it's clearly running on the Switch, but the fact that it seems to be running pretty smoothly on the Switch, to me, is very impressive. I mean, it, it, it seems to be running better than I would have thought it would. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. A magic this powerful can do great harm in the wrong hands. What was that voice? Oh my god, what was that voice? A magic this powerful can do great harm in the wrong hands. I don't remember that voice, and that sounded like straight AI. What is that? Also, these particle effects are definitely a little oof, but... A magic this powerful can do great harm in the wrong hands. Yeah, I don't know what that is. The power you stand to wield must first be fully understood. It will take time. Now, I'm afraid we don't have the luxury of time. Look at this. It's amazing. World will crumble. If anyone can rise to this challenge, my friend, it is you. I'm ready for whatever comes next. I mean, for real, running on the Switch, that's pretty impressive. Uh, we'll see how it actually runs when you're playing it, because, I mean, of course, they can, uh, if they capture 10 hours of gameplay footage, and, like, the chances are you could whittle that down to. Uh, you know, two minute trailer that looks decently smooth. So when we're actually playing it, who knows? Maybe when you go into combat, it drops to, to 15 frames or something. I guess we can try it. But honestly, like, I was expecting all trees to not be rendered. Like, the water is just a flat plane. The clouds are gone. Like, I was expecting it to look way worse. But it actually just looks like a really low resolution version of, of the game on, like, PS4, which is not crazy like it's not crazy yes impressive for a potato yeah i mean it, it if they've done a good job on this i mean props to the devs if you're watching this on mobile it probably doesn't look that bad except for the particle effects those were pretty rough but i mean in like the little mini player thing here it doesn't look bad it's only when you know you blow it up on a big screen and then you see the lack of clarity and detail but Again, for running on a six-ish year old potato, that's not bad. My concern is that like even now on PC, there are sometimes some stutters, some doors. Like how long are you gonna have to wait at doorways to load the next area? That's what I wanna know. Cause even on like an M.2 SSD, it can still take a little bit. Like it can still chug little white circle spins. 
little white circle spins. So I, I don't know how that's going to look, how that's going to translate. Yeah, I mean, my PC is pretty outdated and I could run Hogwarts Legacy medium settings with hiccups. Yeah, I think everybody had little hiccups, so you're not alone. Everybody did. Um, there are some mods. You'll see a video we, we're going to publish tomorrow. And there was a mod I was able to find that pretty much fixes all of those issues and just patches the engine, makes it run smooth. Like it overnight just fixes it. It's crazy. Uh, they haven't patched it as far as I can tell officially to do that, but, uh, it does seem to, that there are fixes available if they were to do that. There weren't that many outside shots, to be honest. Hopefully that doesn't mean anything. Yeah, it's hard to tell like if if they didn't do that because they like just wanted to focus on the castle or if it's because when you're outside of the castle, performance tanks, I don't know. What I do know is like they've delayed this a while. I think this was supposed to come out back in the summer or like early summer and they've managed to delay it to take their time to do it right. So hopefully they're actually doing it right, not delaying it and it's just messed up uh yeah send you that's the the mod for the the fixes you're right yeah leo that's that's totally fair it's a switch you should not expect it to run great on the switch if you buy a game like this on the switch you need to be prepared for it to not run great not look great but to be playable i think that's my standard for the switch for these ports like it is playable there will you have a great time probably not will it look great Definitely not, but you can play the game if you couldn't play it uh, uh, like elsewhere because you don't have money for other consoles or a PC or anything. And I think that is totally fair. People just need to know what they're getting moving in, which is why I'm proud of them and mad props for doing a trailer showing what it actually looks like instead of like, this is running on a simulated Switch with a 4090. <laughs> you know, it's just totally, totally uh, a waste. <laughs> Took my thing. Red, red flag.